I know it's not your morning, but will you please take Leo to school? Yeah, Ron is understandably upset. Thank you. Thank you. What can I get you, my love? Poached egg on toast, please. How come we not having breakfast at home? Well, I just thought you and Rona might want a bit of space. And Pearl can never say no to my eggs, Florentine. <laughs> <laughs> Will Madame be joining us? No, she's at home tearing her hair out. The adoption's at a bit of a brick wall. Oh, really? Well, how come? Because one of our referees, one of our friends, has said something to the social worker that's given a pause for thought. Who'd do that? Well, maybe it was a mistake. We really needed this to go our way. But you haven't been completely turned down yet? No, but Ron is pretty sure. Oh, I hope you find out who did this to you. Morning. Hi. I heard about you and Priya. News travels fast. It's just a break, though, right? Yeah, and while I'm not with her, it's easy to forget how wonderful I am. I'm sure she knows. I'm not used to it being so quiet. Listen, Dad and Manisa are on their honeymoon. Lachlan's never been one for conversation. Why don't you come around for dinner tonight and keep me company? Be careful. I might take you up on that. Well, you are more than welcome. Did Priya say why? I'm sorry, that's none of my business. No, 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 it's OK. It was, uh, it was the DNA stuff with Kieran. I should never have involved her. She says it means she can't trust me anymore. And why don't you show her that she can? How? I don't know. Something big? Something that puts her right at the center? Wow! What a knockout! <laughs> I know. Isn't she? I'm so proud of her. Stop it. No, I mean it. You've been amazing, taking everything in your stride. Well, it's not easy. Thought I'd beaten it once, going through it again. It's taking it out of me. We've only got a couple more sessions of chemo to go. You can do it. And then it's the future and some serious fun. <laughs> yeah, sit down. I'll get you both some tea. So, how does it feel? Like old times. I'd forgotten how much fun it is wearing wigs. She's got three of them. Chrissy helped her choose them. She's been trying them on all morning, many times. I'm glad I went to her for help. I was nervous at first, but she's done us proud. Yeah, well, she went through it all with her mum, so, you know. I'm gonna go get a refill. What are you thinking? Well, look at him. Living with his sister, hanging around here with us. He's lost. Yesterday, I thought I saw a connection between him and Chrissy. Really? Well, you can't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure. But I'm going to find out. You were saying about, about the open house? People interested in buying the pub? Will I get a chance to talk to him? Why would you? Because one of them will be my new boss. You know, it's always the minions who bear the brunt of the management's decision. Decision. Tomorrow is the stop and stare. Some people will be serious, some people will be here to go, up, and when we figure out who's who, then we take it from there. Uh, OK. In my heart, I know that you didn't, but I have to ask anyway. Did, did you say anything to the social worker that may have made her think twice about letting us adopt? Paddy told me, I can't believe it, but no, honestly, no, no way, it wasn't me. Maybe you weren't even aware of it. Look, I know you'll be worried about Leo, OK? Maybe you mentioned that. I'd be a terrible friend and father to say that to them and not to you. I don't know it wasn't you, cos I was there when you came out of your interview, and it clearly wasn't Ness. Mum, um, do you want to go out and get some dinner? Something I want to talk to you about. Can we make it tea? It's just, well, I'm dealing with this rep and I might have to meet him for dinner. Yeah, all right. Tea, whatever. Oh, maybe I was a bit too much. You could have took it wrong. Oh, I'm so sleep-deprived, I don't know. No, look, it's clearly not you. So it's back to my mum, or Tess, or Pearl. I thought that one of them has done this to us. I just... I can't bear it. When I first found out she wore wigs, I couldn't stop staring. <laughs> I'm glad you see me all right talking to. Oh, isn't he lovely? Are you OK? Yeah, it's a good Well, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, you were saying. Uh, nothing, really, just that seeing her wearing one again reminds me a bit of Dad, cos she stopped wearing them for him. <laughs> and, of course, you've got reminders everywhere you go. Father Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. 
Hey, do you think it's too soon for our first basketball game? Uh, maybe give it a year or so. <laughs> oh, is he all right? Yeah, Vanessa says he's overtired. Or is it me? But I've been trying to push him round and get him to sleep all day. Uh, listen, I, I best get back. Yeah, I'll settle up. You go. Right. Mumford and Sons. I used to play it to him when he was in hospital. I mean, I can't stand him myself, but it seemed to work. Thanks. See you in a bit. Yeah. How much would it cost if we pulled the wedding forward? Aren't you on a break? Yeah, forget that. Well, it is sort of important when you're talking about getting married. Right now, you've got the 10th of March. But what if we did Valentine's Day? That would mean a lot of work. And, I mean, seriously, you need to make sure that she's OK with saying I do first. I need to show her what she means to me, OK? Priya and Amber are my future, OK? I feel like I've been waiting forever to get married. But honestly, Rakesh, please, will you just take a breath? On top of everything else, this... It's gonna cost you a fortune. This is a no-expense-spared thing, OK? Now, show me what you planned and we'll make it even bigger. Can you do this for me or not? Pri's my friend. And I need to make sure that she's OK with this. That's why I text her. Oh, brilliant, they've arrived! Hey, it really suits you. I think so, too. To say thank you. Oh, you didn't have to. But if you want me to come around and style them for you, I mean, you've done a very good job. You're putting me to shame. You worked great yesterday. Oh, don't mention it. And with Robert, too. With Robert? I know things between you have been difficult. I am. But I just want to make it clear, if getting back together is an option, I wouldn't stand in your way. What brought this on? You both seem so lost. And the way you looked after me, for him, that said something. I looked after you because of my mum. I know exactly what you're going through. It's, it's got nothing to do with him. Look, uh, whatever you read into yesterday, I'm sorry, but we are over for good. I want to marry you more than ever today, if we could. But I don't know if I ever want to marry you. Well, what part of being on a break don't you get? Try telling him you wouldn't listen. Oh, he never does. You're angry with me, I get that. But I love you and Amber. It's wrong that we're not together. I kept a massive secret for you from a friend who I really care about. I don't know if I even like myself anymore, let alone you. We did it for all the right reasons. Yes, but it means I can't trust you. And the fact that you're in here doing this means I am right not to trust you. Oh, you are clueless. You can't even give me the one thing that I need most, and that is some space. Look, I understand, OK? But I want to prove to you that I'll do everything for you, that I'll be fully committed you, to you. You never learn, right? You just keep pushing. It's always got to be your way. What are you saying? This is why I can't be with you. All right, so just leave me alone. We're through. And there is nothing that you can do to change that. Oh, love. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Pearl. I think it might be. Brenda said nothing bad could be said about you or Paddy. And it started going round and round in my head, and I don't know why, but I started telling the social worker about Vanessa. What do you mean? What about Vanessa? I, I got all tongue-tied, and I... I told her about your lesbian phase, and then that... that sounded bad, so... so I tried covering it up by, by telling her that... that you weren't thinking straight because you were taking all those painkillers. So it was me. I'm the one who messed up the adoption. It was that one thing about Vanessa. I just got your text. 
Well, once I'd said it, I wished I hadn't, but it was too late. We have so much to offer another child, and now it looks like I'm not committed to my husband. I'm so sorry. Last night, this morning, before you snuck out, you said nothing about this. I've let you down, and I know it. I'll, I'll go and pack my bag. No, 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 no. No one wants that. No. Of course we don't. But we haven't been turned down yet. No, but they will do. Come on, be honest. The way they see it, I am a terrible wife who cheated on you. I don't quite like all this sneaking about. It makes me feel like a teenager again. Good for you to say. I had to yomp half a mile out of the village to come and meet you. <laughs> Worth it, I hope. What do you think? So, how was Aaron? Really good, I think. I mean, he was Paddy's referee at his adoption. I think he felt glad to be doing something for Paddy for a change. That last text you sent was a bit naughty. I meant every word. Besides, there's nothing we haven't done already. I know, but Aaron was right in front of me. Yeah, well, maybe it'll make him realise how happy I make you feel. It's best like this. You know, we decide what we're doing, and then when we're ready, we let him know. I should be getting back. So what if you didn't? Suppose we got an hotel and... I did what I said in those texts. <laughs> then you'd be lucky. <laughs> Just think it's a bit soon. We don't want to rush, do we? OK. Whatever you feel is right. Come on. Another five minutes. You said you could do with some company. Yeah, no, it's lovely. I just I sort of meant this evening. Besides, it looks like you've already started. <laughs> yeah. I thought we could uh, celebrate me being a single man. I heard you and Priya arguing. It's only a, a door that separates the salon. If any of that was down to me telling you to go for uh, it. It was all me. It was all my fault. I'm a bad, bad person. Will you join me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I had Diane trying to get me and Robert back together earlier. Oh, you're not going to. I would rather stay on the shelf forever than get back with him. You won't be there for long, a strong woman like you. Me? I don't think so. Oh, so, what are you then? Diane said I'm a little bit lost. I'm starting to think she might be right. <sighs> there are better men out there. Yeah, I know. It's just there was a moment yesterday when I forgot how much I hate him. How nice it would be not to be alone. You're not alone now. Remember your first car, that battered old red one? How could I forget? There's some good memories in that old banger. <laughs> it's before we could afford a room. Tell me about it. Let's say that we did go to a hotel. What would I tell Aaron? That you met a mate and you stayed at us. Being a good parent's all about tactical lies to your kids. Let's do it. You found us a place, I'll text Aaron. What can I get you? Uh, Americano to go, please, Bob. Here to serve? Yes, Aaron. So you come in. Do you fancy a pint? Why, well, you all right? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing, man. You've done it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But then again, it's not me having to watch Johnny be pushed around all the places, is it? Yeah, well, I don't really think about it. Yeah, you do, Adam. But why don't you go over to the pub and have a pint, yeah? All right, cool. Hey, can I get you a drink? I was just going to go meet Adam for a pint. Right. Well, the truth is, I could do something a bit stronger. I found out it was Pearl that dropped the clan with the social worker. Really? Yeah. She told her about Rona and Vanessa. Rona's not the one cheating now. No, but I thought it was Tess. And after what you told me yesterday and all the stuff with Pearl, it's just getting a bit much. Well, you know what they say, you made your bed, you better lie in it. 165 top. I don't need it now, actually. Sorry, Bob. Paddy, Americano? Listen, 
I know you're not happy about it. You just want me to keep your little secret. Hang on. I was there for you and I didn't approve of things, so, yeah. Well, maybe you're a better person than I am. Do you know what? Forget it. Why? Do you know how selfish you are? It wasn't Pearl, it was me. I went back and I told that social worker straight. You don't deserve a kid. Your marriage isn't worth the paper it's written on. Oh, fast asleep. Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it would have known. Yeah, well, uh, they sent me to sleep, so I thought it might work on him too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it gives you and me some much needed quiet time. Oh, yeah, what have you got in mind? <laughs> no, not that. Oh. I'm too knackered. But I'm all for a snuggle on the sofa. Mm. Okay. Sorry, he's easy. Oh, Adam's tip work then. You want a cup, eh? Uh, no, thank you. I won't stay in case I wake him. Um, look, I know that Adam said no to being involved in Johnny's life, but honestly, he's really struggling. Right, well, it was only a few days ago he ran off with Johnny, so how can we trust him? Uh, of course we can. That's behind us now. Nobody here is to blame for what Rakesh did. The offer still stands. Oh, really? Cos I was wondering, you know, if... if ever you two wanted some time out, that me and Adam could babysit. It'd mean the world to him. Well, how about tomorrow afternoon? Come round, we'll see how we all get on. <sighs> Thank you. It'll be made up. You don't really think it's over, do you? Oh, she made it pretty clear we are. She kept the DNA results a secret, even though she didn't agree. I thought I was doing the right thing. No, 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 I, I get it. You were protecting Kieran. Honestly, the things that I've done for Lachlan... Well, he's your kid. What else are you going to do? And Kieran will understand in time. The more he gets used to being a parent, he'll soon learn. I'd do it again, you know. Yeah, well, it was high risk and it blew up in your face. Big time. The point is... Priya, keeping your secret sounds like a woman committed to making things work. What if I don't want them to? Well, then you're an idiot. You see, me, me and Robert, we are a rotting corpse of a marriage, but I know the difference. Maybe I don't deserve her. What if it's that? I'm not good enough for her, like Robert's not good enough for you. More wine. What are we doing here? Maybe what we should have done last time. I don't think so. Why? Are you telling me you don't want to? No, I'm telling you that you don't want to. You are drunk and you are still in love with Priya. We're over. No, you're not. You will thank me for this in the morning. Now, if, if you want to crash, you are welcome to stay on the sofa. But if you want my advice, go home. He knows you were talking out of anger. My head's a mess. Well, at least you've managed to find a guy who doesn't play games. Nick Hill. Trust me, between Jay and Nick Hill, I know who's a keeper and who's not. Yeah, well, I would say the same about Rakesh. He obviously adores you. Don't give up on him just yet. Why'd you go and do that? Because I saw you this morning. It's doing your head in not being around yeah, him. Yeah, but he's not mine. I've got to get used to that. So, Aaron isn't Paddy's, but that doesn't stop the two of them caring about each other, does it? Well, Vanessa suggested tomorrow afternoon and all four of us can be there. What? Well, not just be weird. Babe, if this is going to work, then we all have to be on board. So? Oh, no. Just, just think it's a bit too soon. Aaron, what do you think? Um. Well, I don't know. It depends what you want, doesn't it? Do you want to have him or not? Oh, yeah, of course you do. And that's that. All right, then I will do. Yeah, all right, I will. Tell them. Everything all right? You figured out who stabbed you in the back yet? Yeah. Who was it? The last person I expected. No, no, I already talked to Ron, or it wasn't me, honestly. I know that, mate. I was never in doubt. Then who? Just one second.
Marlon was right. We were stabbed in the back. But I know you. And I know you're not like that. And after everything we've been through, I think I know you well enough. You would never do anything like that unless there was something else. Well, there is. You're having an affair. No, no, no. It's more than that. Aaron, there's no point in lying to me. I've just seen you with Robert in there, and you look like it's over, so I know it's not that. So I'm thinking it must be something new. What about your dad? Is it that? Aaron, why don't you just tell me what's going on? Look at you, trying to shift the blame and make it about me when it's all about you. You're seeing Leo's teaching assistant behind Rona's back. Do you really think that can carry on? Do you really think that Rona's gonna let it lie? She's gonna challenge the adoption agency about what Pearl said, Aaron. and then she'll find out it wasn't Pearl, so she'll start Aaron. again. And then when she comes to me, I'm not gonna lie for you. Please, don't do I'll this. I'll tell her everything. Your marriage will be over, and it'll be exactly what you deserve. Well, tonight, Nick might want to get on the wrong side of Robert. Carla's worried next in our first trip to Coronation Street before Martin's got all the savings advice you could need and some very neat tricks for slashing the cost of your holidays. The Martin Lewis Money Show is new at 8.